What's up, everybody? Welcome to Josh Brady. Uh, uh, Steve Zaragoza and Mike Falzone arrived about three minutes ago, and we haven't start, stopped giggling <laughs> since their giggles. arrival. A lot of giggles. Uh, very excited to be here on a Friday with you all. Uh, this is the new time of Josh Brady, 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, we're going to go a little bit earlier, so if you've got like a summer Friday and you want to go enjoy yourself or, you know, wherever you are in that part of the world, we appreciate you guys watching Josh Brady. It's the fastest game show on the internet. Don't think, just answer. It's not about the brains. It's about the answers. Uh, I'm your host, Josh Makuga. It's called Josh Pretty because I want to be the next host of Jeopardy, and they seem to have lost my phone number, so I just had to create Josh Pretty. So here we go. Uh, our contestants today, two of my good buddies, we're all vaxxed up, so we're, it's, we're excited to see one another. Mike Falzone was on the show on Monday. Uh, I made him a, a fateful cup of coffee, <laughs> and uh, he really he loved it. Let's get the camera over to Mike Falzone and Steve Zaragoza. Yeah! You guys know him. Host of the dynamic punt of uh, dynamic banter podcast, dynamic banter, <laughs> uh, dynamic banter. <laughs> I've had a few twisted teas before the show. No big deal, <laughs> gentlemen. It's great to see you. Uh, you don't know really what this game show is. Are you excited? Are you feeling it? Yeah, yes. I'm ready, man. Yeah. It's been a while since we've even done a thing. I remember <laughs> we did a thing. We did a thing, and then we've done other things. Many things, and and now we're doing this thing. Yes. <laughs> remember that time you hosted that talk show and I was on it? It was me, you, and Janina Gavankar. Yep. That was a great day. Yep. That it was, was uh, that oh, whole yeah. year was a roller coaster. <laughs> Wasn't it though? <laughs> we had a show and then a week later we didn't yeah, have a show. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. <laughs> it was fantastic. They give it and take it away. They really do. Uh, boys, tell everybody about your podcast real quick because it's one of the more funny funny journeys on the ears. Um, okay, so the way we describe it is, you know when you're hanging with your boys or your girls and you, you, your head is thrown back in laughter yes. and you can't control yourself and you're having a, just a great time making loud noises, screaming with sure. your friends? It's like that. It's like listening to two other people who aren't you and your friends do. <laughs> it's like imagine removing yourself from the fun situation of laughing with your friends, but you're still here. <laughs> Hearing it. That's what it is. <laughs> but you can't participate in it. It's like you're a ghost in your friends' <laughs> fun times. Yeah, imagine you still want to have fun with your friends, but you are dad. <laughs> and that's what our podcast is. That's yeah. why you guys started the podcast, was to honor your fallen friends. Yes, so exactly. Uh, For any of our ghost friends, we're still going to hang out. Yeah. <laughs> Just because you're dead doesn't mean you can't chill. Yeah, yeah, and have a laugh or two. Yeah. Uh, speaking of dead, Ken Napsok, not dead, but he's here in studio. Ken, how are you, buddy? Oh, man, I'm recovered a bad week i went down to do comedy in la jolla came back with uh not that virus but a virus but i'm good now boys everything's fine i'm in the corner mask on i don't yeah, want to scare Nora. anybody you say you're in the corner but you're like i can I, touch you yeah so. that's true well that's we'll move it up that's a less than six no. feet. he's fully vaxxed i'm telling you it was allergies he disagrees i think it was definitely allergies but it might have just been a cold well listen we're not going to be free from colds yeah you yes. know we're still going to get colds this Cold is true vid. yeah 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 yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. That's the first pun. Great. That's the first pun of the day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me tell you, there's a lot. There's a lot of puns in this game. Speaking of puns, Ikeka Shively, the wine hunk, the great hunkino, the prince of the islands, the uh, low hot Friday, the sultan of Swarth, the king of the clouds. Uh, pop those categories up on the screen. I'll explain Josh Brady to the boys. Boys, nine categories on the board. Ninety seconds per category. Ten questions per category. One point per question. Bang bang boom. All right, we alternate between you two. It's the fastest game show on the internet. Okay. Uh, we'll start with Steve Zaragoza. Uh, you have a choice of any of these nine categories. I'll run through them real quick. Not in this pet store. That's a team? Get in the foul zone. Steve Zaragoza? Josh can't make coffee. Dynamic Bantha? Lil Stevie? Word up and hot mic. Hot mic. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like how you could you duplicated it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, 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 like, a, I'm like a terrible quarterback. I can do that part, but I can't throw the football. Yeah. Um, so, Steve, your choice uh, before we get there. Ken, give the boys their intro. He's the pride of Connecticut, the man with the most luscious locks in the biz. Who, when he makes coffee, you can smell what Falzone is cooking. It's Mike Falzone. Wow. He's talking about me right now. From <laughs> the heart of the valley to the depths of your heart, he is an ASMR comedy painting, comedy dance making, train fart a superstar. <laughs> it's Steve Zaragoza. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Wow. You got, Listen. got good writers here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> if only they knew how to put the pen to paper, <laughs> we'd be millionaires. You just dictated and Ex someone, it's just text to speech. Listen, you can't write down Ken's genius. It exists in an ether. He pulls from it. <laughs> I, I, I just went to Steve's Twitter bio. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally copy paste from my, my bio. That's why I like it so much. 
<laughs> Little did we know that Ken's just been ripping off Twitter by us. <laughs> All right. Uh, Steve, we're going to put those categories back up on the board. You tell me where you want to start. I, Dynamic Bantha really caught my Dynamic attention. Bantha. Okay, listen, yeah. gentlemen. Uh, this is the only category today where you can use Ken Knapsack as your lifeline. Whoa. Mm. Okay. Now, how this category works is 10 questions. These are either animals that exist in Star Wars or they do not. Okay? So I give you the name. If you know it, you say Star Wars. If you don't, not in Star Wars. Okay? Okay. We put 90 seconds on the clock. We start with Steve Zaragoza in three, two, one. A Durbit. Not Star Wars. Ooh, that's in Star Wars. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> to Mike Falzone. The Halunching <clears throat> Flog. Not in no, Star Wars. No, give him the point. Mike's <laughs> better at this than I am. Mike's never seen a Star I forgot the pen and the card for points. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your, uh, I love points. Little this about bad, me. Mike we'll, we'll, thinks Star Trek is Star Wars. We'll, we'll <laughs> give another ten, another ten pop, seconds. Another ten seconds. seconds oh wait, he stopped the clock. He stopped the clock. Oh, there okay, we go. Okay, All right, this was go. really bad preparation by the host. I got two involved <laughs> in Steve and Mike. Let's restart this. Okay. Uh, same answer. Same answer. It's still <laughs> okay. it's one nothing. Mike, Can we go I back to Steve Zaragoza. We go back to Steve Zaragoza. Question three. Bundarian. I'm going to say that is a Star Wars. Ooh, that's not in Star God Wars. Damn! <laughs> over, God damn! God <laughs> damn! <laughs> over to Mike Falzone, a Jalinthian Vulper. Oh, that's real for sure. No, that's not real. <laughs> wow, that's pretty good, Josh. <laughs> Thank you. Like that one? That's good. Over to Steve Zaragoza, a Tenarian Volk. All right, I'm going to Lifeline, Ken Napsok, yeah. please. Man, I think he went in the depths of the dead bank. I'll say yes. If I'm wrong, I owe you an extra jar of piss. <laughs> please. <laughs> I'm almost done with this one. So, yes, animal? Yes. Give him the point. Yay! Give him the point. The lifeline Thank word. My man. Mike That's Falzone, yeah. a worm. A what? A worm. I just want to go to Ken for the spelling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, so I'm going to say yes. Can you use that is an sentence? animal. That's an animal. I'm going to say yes again. It's there an animal. Go. There you go. Nice. Over nice. to Steve Zaragoza, a shuggy nender. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Would you guys go into the EU for this shit? Yeah. I went on Wikipedia. Yeah. Um, say it again. A shuggy nender. Oh, God. I'm going to say no. Ooh, that's a no. Give yes! it a nice. Over to yeah. Mike Falzone. A Clint Oyster. Clint Oyster. I'm going to say no. Ooh, that's, in, that's actually in Star Wars. Why would they know what an oyster is if it's in space? <laughs> yeah. They also say see you in hell, they which do. means they have hell in their <laughs> You've got God. That's nice. That's kind of comforting. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> after your first round here on <laughs> Josh Brady, it's tied 2-2 between Steve Garra Zaragoza and Mike Falzone, host of the Dynamic Banther podcast. No, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Dynamic Banther. Uh, Mike Falzone, category's back up on the board. We're only going to get through six of these today, so choose one. Josh can't make coffee for Josh a thousand. Josh can't make Facts. coffee. Boom. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is a true or false category based <laughs> true. on my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> based on my opinion. Because here's the thing, Mike. I can make coffee. It's not good. I, the, the process I can do, the actual result, not good. All right, 90 seconds on the clock. Remember, these are based on my opinion, true or false questions. We start with Mike Falzone. True or false, famous dogs know they're famous. True. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> to Steve Zaragoza. Excellent. Avocados have no taste and are way too expensive. I, I disagree with this, but I'm going to say true. That is true. That is true. <laughs> over, to, over to Mike Falzone. <laughs> Using canes as part of your personality is pretty damn cool. True. That is true. Give it to him. <laughs> Steve Zaragoza, true or false? Blueberry muffins are the best muffins. I'm going to say true. That is true. <laughs> over to Mike Falzone. Costco People love Jurassic Park. The people that love Jurassic Park just proves we should make dinosaurs. False. That is false. Give them the yeah, <laughs> We yeah. don't. Well, they, we shouldn't have dinosaurs. Thank you. Okay. Uh, over to Steve Zaragoza. Soccer should have one guy on rollerblades per team. Oh, true. That's true. Come on. Come on. The grass. Come I'll on. date the damn game, guys. Sinking into the grass. <laughs> over to Mike Falzone. Arnold Schwarzenegger is the best action hero of all time. That's false. That is false. Wow. That is false. Over to Steve Zaragoza. New video games are too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say false. Oh, it's true. <laughs> what? Cool I can't do them. What? You gotta move your guy all around. Are you, it's real are you hard. serious? Yes. All right. Let's all right. Okay. Over to Mike Falzone. Right. Bananas don't taste good without peanut butter. 
false. Ooh, that's true. That's true. That's oh. true. Over yeah. to Steve Zaragoza. Looking at Are a cat. Are you a nine-year-old boy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Steve. Clearly. Over to Steve Drunk Zaragoza for our final question. <laughs> Looking at a cactus and not wanting to chop it with a sword is impossible. That's true. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> that's very Come true. on. You want to chop yeah. those things. Like a sharp sword. Just. Wah. And then you hope that like water shoots, shoots out. out. Like, 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 like a fire hydrant. Yeah. Yeah. And you're like saved by yeah. the cactus goo. Yeah. All right. After two categories, it's tied 6-6. Six, six. Before we get to the third category, we get a shout out to our sponsor, Boone's Bourbon. Boone's Bourbon. It's really strong, but it's very delicious. If you drink this before going out on a date with your wife, the date will not go well. <laughs> Speaking from personal experience, on Wednesday night, I almost fell asleep at a pizza restaurant. <laughs> Boone's Bourbon. It's delicious. It does not keep your marriage together. Okay. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> they should print that on the put label. The, put it on the label. <laughs> Zaragoza, your choice, my friend. Um, let's go with hot mic. Hot mic. <laughs> hot mic. Hot mic. Hot <laughs> mic. Okay. That's great. All right, here it's we go. Button. Hot mic. We start with Steve Zaragoza. These are are these mics hot? Okay. Are these mics hot? You rather say hot, not hot. Okay. okay. Put ninety seconds on the clock. Here we go. Mike Trout, baseball player, Anaheim Angels. Uh, not hot. Ooh, he's hot. You seen really? that body on that guy? He's ripped. I have no idea. Strapping lad. Uh, to Mike Falzone, Mike Myers. Mike Myers, not hot. Not hot. That is correct. Good at his job. Not great at looks. It depends. He's good for a poke. <laughs> Over to Steve Zaragoza, Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, hot. No, not hot. What? Have you seen that, that face? Tattoo? That tattoo. That tattoo. about the body? <laughs> I know, you can't just be like, bodies are good, and then Mike Tyson's body's Listen, not good. This is Josh Brady, not Jeopardy, my friend. Over to Mike Falzone. Mike, the situation, Sarantino. Not hot. That is not mm. hot. Yes, that's correct. Mm. Over to Steve Zaragoza. Mike Epps. Uh, hot. Yeah, he's hot. Yeah. He's a hot dude. Yeah. Hot dude. Over to Mike Falzone. Mike Pence. <laughs> hot. <laughs> not hot. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not the summer yet. You don't oh, see your pence this summer. That's true. Do flies <laughs> land on hot not pen. hot people? <laughs> hot, not, uh, hot pence summer is coming yeah, up. It's, it's hot pence summer. Uh, over to uh, Steve Zaragoza. Mike Shrzewski, <laughs> coach, at, coach at Duke. Duke University basketball I'm coach. I'm not hot. Yeah, not hot. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> over, over to Mike Falzone. Mike Rowe. He's always in those commercials. Oh, Mike Rowe, him. hot as fuck. Uh, yeah. Real hot. Yeah. <laughs> over to Steve Zaragoza. Mike Lowry. I don't know who that is. Uh, Will Smith and Bad Boys. Oh, uh, hot. Hot, yeah. yes. Over to uh, Mike Falzone. Mike Jordan, a.k.a. Michael Jordan. <laughs> Mike, Jordan. Mike is his friend. You're going to have to be more specific. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many Mike You're Jordans. Are talking B or? Yes, either way, every Mike Jordan I know is hot. It's hot. That's, that is correct. Fair. Good that's point. Fair. All right, now a bonus point to both of you, and I put this in simply for Mike Falzone. Uh, this is a WWE wrestler, Mike the Miz Mizanin. Okay, you tell me what you think, and then I'll give you the answer. I'm gonna say not hot. Not hot. Uh, I'm gonna say, and all those muscle boys are pretty hot. Okay. Like, I, who isn't hot in the mm. wrestling world? Let's I was honest. looking for not hot. Okay, I was looking right. for not hot. More so obnoxious than hot. Yes, dude. correct. So currently, after three rounds, Mike Falzone, eleven. Steve Zaragoza, nine. As we get into the fourth round of Josh Brady, it's back to Mike Falzone for your choice. Michael, where would you like to go? I'd like to go Steve Zaragoza. Uh-oh, Ken. Uh-oh, Ken. Uh-oh, Ken. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, Ken. It's the... Punderdome. Punderdome. It's the Punderdome. It's the Punderdome. It's the Punderdome. Oh, it's the Punderdome. He slaps you in the gut. Punderdome. Here we go. The Punderdome, as always, is brought to you by the Good People Association merch store. We got hats. We got shirts. We got a pin as well. Go to the gpa.fun, buy some stuff. It helps, keeps the lights on. We got a ton of them in here. All right. Here we go. The Punder Dome. Your uh -huh. only answers are meh or okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, My only two reactions. That's your only two yep. reactions. These are all puns, okay? Mm -hmm. Hence the Punder Dome. We put 90 seconds on the clock. We start with Mike Falzone. Okay. In three, two, one. Okay. Someone who overshares on social media we'd call, would be called a Steve Sharagoza. Wow. Uh. Yeah, it's a meh. Yeah, it wasn't. Well, what were the two answers? Meh or okay. All right. Let me All right. have some of this piss. Okay. Over to Steve Zaragoza. Uh, get in the zone. Mike Falzone. 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted that to be good, and yeah. I just don't think it's that good. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. all right. it. how about this? Uh, over to Mike Valzone. A woman named Gina who sells produce, and it's called Frutra Gina. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Okay. All right, over to Steve Zaragoza. It's an all-female baton group dressed as rodents called the Squirrel Twirl Girls. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right. Over to uh, Mike Falzone. Pins and accents on clothing called Steve Flaragoza. <laughs> My heart says, ah. Yeah. I want to. Gotta go with your heart. You, I mean, <laughs> I was, all right, all right. Over to, over to Steve. A 90s prank show, show starring Mike Falzone called Psych Falzone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not a pun, but I'm in. <laughs> but he's yeah. in. He's Greenlit. in. Greenlit. <laughs> Over to Mike Mozone, a podcast hosted by only dads named John called John Taraj. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Over to Steve Zaragoza, a podcast only hosted by only Italian ants called Lasantia. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I, I know that Mike would not want. That. <laughs> I would oh, you would? I would listen. All right, well then, now we're doing episode. Uh, 90, 90 seconds. Uh, we're up, but I gotta ask you guys this one because I think this is. A, I, I was giggling to myself because I'm an idiot. All right, a totally ripped Las Vegas magic show called Siegfried and Roids. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. It's fine. Green light it now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're giving you guys each a bonus point on that one. Oh, Current yeah. score, 16-14. Mike Falzone after Ooh. four rounds. Only two rounds left here in Josh Brady, the fastest game show on the internet. As always, brought to you by Boone's Bourbon. If you like boob, <laughs> if you like bourbon, and you like a guy named Tyler Boone, then you will love this bourbon. It's made by a guy named Tyler Boone, and it's bourbon. If you've ever been like alone on a Thursday night, and you're thinking to yourself, you know what would go really well with my night tonight? That'd be Boone's Bourbon. Get yourself a couple glasses, call an ex-girlfriend, tell her you still love her, and try and rekindle those old flames. Who cares about her new boyfriend? He's probably terrible. Dude, Boone's there's bourbon. no better Welcome. vouch than half the bottle being gone. <laughs> <laughs> truly, truly. There's no better. Unless it's like seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't get the top off because it's stuck to it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in All an right. office setting, by the way. This is an office <laughs> yeah. setting. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's the Wait, HR go. department. Yeah, yeah. True, true. <laughs> it's the Hawaiian hunk. All right, Steve, mm. your choice. Um, let's go. That's a team. That's a team. <laughs> okay, here's what this is. These were all NFL teams that either existed or never existed. Oh, I'm gonna suck at this. Okay. Uh, basically, a lot of these teams were like the original version of the now team. But I'm gonna give you obviously some fake teams okay. in there. So existed and never existed are your answer choices. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Ninety seconds. On the clock, we start with Steve Zaragoza in three, two, one. The Boston Soccers. That's a team. No, never existed. Oh, shit. Soccers. Over to Mike Falzone, the Boston Braves. Boston Braves were a team. That is. They were a team. Steve Zaragoza, the Chicago Stanleys. <laughs> yeah. No, they oh. never existed. Come on! <laughs> Over to Mike Falzone, the Decatur Staleys. I want to say no, but I like it. Uh, they did exist. The yeah. Decatur Staley's existed. They eventually became the Chicago. What is a Staley? I don't know. <laughs> it's just the name. Is they eventually a whole became the Chicago Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, my name's Staley, and I'm buying a team. You're calling the Staley's. <laughs> I got cousins. <laughs> Sounds like a grocery yeah. store. <laughs> Over to uh, yes. to Mike Falzone or to uh, Steve Zaragoza. The Deca uh, sorry, the Portsmouth Spartans. Man, that sounds real. I'm gonna go with real. That it is real. They yeah. existed. Mike Falzone, the Racine Cardinals. Yes. Yes, they existed. Over to Steve Zaragoza. The Buffalo Bison. No. No, never existed. Over to Mike Falzone. The Pittsburgh Pirates. Yes. Yeah, they existed. They were then became the Pittsburgh Steelers. Huh. Uh, the Cleveland Rams to Mike uh, to Steve Zaragoza. I'm gonna say no. They did exist. The Cleveland Rams Damn existed. You. And then back Lord. to Mike Falzone. The Dallas Texans. The Dallas Texans. Yes. They did exist. Wow. Big category there for Mike Falzone as he takes a commanding lead 20 to 16. Damn. As we Ooh. head into the final round of Josh Brady. I love points. Final round. Uh, Mike Falzone, <laughs> you get to choose of these last four categories. Word now, up. here's the thing. If we, word up. 
<laughs> if we if we end up in a tie, which could happen, if we end up in a tie, we will go to a sudden death overtime where you guys have to wrestle to the death <laughs> in the middle of our carpet, which we just vacuumed. Let's go. I don't want. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> okay, okay. It's my okay. time, Mike. Okay. But Steve's in on me. So you're saying word up. <clears throat> yes. It's a good thing you chose this because I was going to play this category even if you didn't. Because <laughs> there are no questions for any of the other categories. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just shell game. <laughs> yeah. So on the positivity report on Monday, Mike Falzone had a very funny moment, and we're going to play it right now. Or like someone would speak German, I'd be like, "Speak! I, I want to see if I can at least understand you." <laughs> I would go back to like the four sentences that I knew, and I'm like, "Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. You didn't say anything about a train." <laughs> 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 Let me see if I can reverse engineer this. Yeah. Okay. okay tell me so about the to this category. These are all words for train in Shut other up. languages. Okay. Ah. So it's either a word for train that I made up, it's not actually a word for train, or it's a real train language. Now. Like a choo-choo train? Like a choo-choo train, <laughs> right? <laughs> now, train. here's the thing. Okay. You can say train or no train, but also there are bonus points that you can get here. If you can tell me the language of origin, you wow. get a bonus point. That's great. Okay. So there can be a huge comeback here for Steve, Steve Zaragoza because I'm being told he was in a Rosetta Stone commercial two years ago. What the fuck? Right? It's not true. Oh, damn. <laughs> uh, <laughs> who listen, is doing listen, my research? <laughs> and listen, it happened without my knowledge. <laughs> Son of a... Which is also possible. Ken, did you do... Are you part of the research department? Uh, I don't have anything, man. Okay, I'm just okay. a Zevia drinking <laughs> announcer. <laughs> this is true. This is true. Uh, we hired him part-time part for this game. Part-time part -time. for this game. All right. Uh, we start with Mike Falzone. Again, your answers are train, no train. If I say it is a train, then you have to give me the language of origin for a bonus point. If I guess the bonus point wrong, yes. do I take away No, 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 no. Okay. No, no. This is, this is a positive show. There are no taking away No, no. This is a fun show. This Correct. time I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. 90 seconds on the clock to Mike Falzone in three, two, one. Voz. Voz? Yes. Yes. That is a train. Country of origin. Star Wars. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Damn, I thought that was right. But I think they may have shot some Star Wars in this country. We're looking. Can for I guess? For the, can go I, ahead. Yeah, for the for the. Wait, you almost said it. So I did. I'm not what, gonna, what, what do you? Think I was gonna say German. But no, it's no. Not. We're looking for Bosnia. It's Bosnia. It's Bosnia. Yeah. Okay, over to Steve Zaragoza. A vlog. No. Ooh, that's a train. Jesus um, Christ. Michael Zone for maybe a, a vlog. Wait, can it's, I try to guess? Yeah, what you it can is? guess. Go ahead. Go. And, and if I get it right, do I get some kind of? Sure, point? you get a point. A vlog. Yes. A vlog. Russian? Ooh, close. We're looking for the Czech Republic. Shit. Czech Republic. I want to go Okay, over to Mike Falzone. A tog. Tog? Yeah. Are you just changing out the first letters of these? <laughs> um, yes. Yes, it is a train. Okay, what country? Belgium. No. Steve Zaragoza. Belgian. <laughs> Belgian. <laughs> Belgian. Damn it. You guys are both incorrect somehow. There's we're no like, way we were both wrong. De Denmark. Ah, Denmark. Yeah. The Danes. Okay, over to Steve Zaragoza. Uh, a triclunius. <laughs> yep. No, not a train. That is a train. What the hell? Are they all trains? <laughs> we like made it. up some trains, and then we threw in real trains. <laughs> Every single one is a real train. A triclunius. Can is, I try to guess? Yeah, guess the origin. Um, I'm going to say Sweden. Oh, Falzone? No. Uh, no. We're looking for, no. We're looking for Lithuania. <laughs> All right, the time, okay, yeah. time has run out, but Jesus we're going to go to a few more trains here. Okay? <laughs> because he worked we, hard. He worked hard. He worked hard <laughs> on this category. All right, how about to Mike Falzone, a bint. Uh, not a train. That is not a train. Oh, okay. That's not a train. Country oh, of origin, you made it up. I made oh. it up. Makugaville. <laughs> Over to Steve Zaragoza, a zug. Yeah, that's a train. That is a train. Okay. <laughs> For the bonus point. Um, let's see. Is it Zug? Zug. I'm going to say Stanfield. <laughs> I'm looking on my European map. It appears Stanfield <laughs> is not a country. But unfortunately, no, Mike Valzone, you could you get this right? Say it again. Zug. Zug? Yeah. Dude, I want to say German, but I know it's not. Zug. I'm going to say German. It's still. German. What? 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 It was train. Fuck, yes. wow. man. There is some okay. that still in there. All right. Mike Falzone has run away with this game, but we've got a couple more. Real quick. All right. Okay. To Steve Zaragoza. A triant. 
Yes. No, that's oh, not a come train. On. That, oh, fuck. <laughs> Over to Mike Malzone. A wrong. Wrong? Yeah. Yes. That's a train. <laughs> <laughs> In what country? No. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, Zurich. Ooh, we're looking for? Belgium. Ooh, Estonia. Estonia, Estonia was the second one. Uh, how about a Kulauta to Steve Zaragoza? Coffee Kulauta. Cool, no, not Kaluta. a train. Not a train. Ooh, that is a train. <laughs> oh, Steve's just train. You, know yeah. you guys just didn't want to write <laughs> fake train names, did you? Well, there were so many cool ones that I just kept writing the actual ones. <laughs> <laughs> that fr- is from what country? Uh, we say it again. Kuluta. Kauluta. Brazil. Ooh, incorrect. Spell zone. Kind of a hint. <laughs> Chile. <laughs> we are looking for Finland. Finland. Oh, Finland. Wow. Close. And finally, a lest. L-E-S-T. A lest. We go to Mike Falzone. Last is a train. It is a train. <laughs> <laughs> He's so good at this category. Seems like a word. I Seems love like trains. <laughs> and like a a last is a train in what country? Last is obviously a train. Yes. Oh, I know. In Greece. Mm-mm. Can I say France? Incorrect. We are looking for the lovely little country of Iceland. Okay. Iceland. Oh, a last yeah. is a train in Iceland. Yes. Your final yeah. score today, congratulations, gentlemen, on a game well played. Uh, your final score, Mike Falzone, 26, Steve Zaragoza, 17. It was a hell of a battle between the Dynamic Banter Boys. That's mm. their uh, road band. When they're just doing the podcast, it's Dynamic Banter. Dynamic when they're out on the road. Boys. The, the Dynamic, Banter Boys. The Banter, Banter Boys. Boys. There's actually two guys that look like us that go on tour. <laughs> yeah. when we don't feel like leaving. It's I like can't kiss. remember their names, but right. we love them. They've, been, going, they've been doing it for so, five like, years now. Levy and Psych. John. You got yeah. it. Yes. <laughs> I couldn't think of like a, because like Reeve, is Reeve a name? Yeah. I guess yeah. Like Reeve yeah. Zaragoza. Yeah. Christopher Reed. Yeah. And Psych fell Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Psych. Right. <laughs> You're welcome to the 90s greatest punk show. Psych self. That's so stupid. All right. Uh, thank you, boys, for being here. I hope you had a good time. Yeah. I did, I did have a good time. Ken, thanks for all your announcing. Uh, this is great to watch. I feel Steve got a little screwed by the train category. but <laughs> Super screwed. Yeah, it was yeah. good. Yes. Uh, all your post-match commentary can be found at ken.blogspot.he doesn't want to announce this show anymore.com. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boys, where can they find your podcast? Uh, we well, Headgum is our is our baby boy headquarters, but yes. you could get us anywhere where you get podcasts: Spotify, Love iTunes, it. Google, whatever. All that stuff. And you somebody just got a some t- uh, somebody just got a tattoo of your podcast. Which yeah. Is yeah, yeah, we Crazy. did a bit about. Uh, what, did you did you already did you tell him this? No, no I just it, saw the picture, but I didn't know the bit. We did yeah. a bit uh, from Demolition Man. We said that when some, the first thing Sylvester Stallone says when he wakes up from cryogenic freeze is, "Where's my mom? <laughs> where's my mom?" <laughs> like they tell me he's in the future. He goes, "But where's my mom?" And they have to like. Hold Holding back, so someone got a tattoo of Sylvester Stallone saying, "Where's oh. my mom?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's wow. pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good. Pretty Forever. awesome. And Forever listen, if, if you're gonna get tattoos of a movie, everybody knows it goes Demolition Man. Everything, everything, everything else. else. Yeah. Everybody wow. knows that. Judge Dredd. Uh, his his <laughs> Stallone's one line in that, which makes no sense in the time. He's just like he's holding a, a wand. That really can't kill anybody. He goes, you're going to regret the next 10 seconds for the rest of your life. <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> why? <laughs> they were like, with, we like, need a catchphrase, man. Yeah. Give us yeah, something. Yeah. Come like on, Stallone. <laughs> Give us a Stallone moment. He's like, oh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> what if one of them was, this is going straight up your ass. <laughs> like, hold, on, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> this is going to feel like a kiss <laughs> from a rose on the river. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra Bullock's in the back, like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. Rob Schneider's like, I like it. This Put it good. in his butt. <laughs> if you <laughs> like speed, you're going to love this. <laughs> <laughs> no, he knows what the three seashells are for. Uh, this is Josh Brady, the fastest game show on the internet. Next week, Lily Marston, Jocelyn Davis will be in studio for another Josh Brady Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific. Uh, this is the Good People Association. We find the good uh, just trying to spread positivity and put smiles on people's, people's faces every single day. Thanks, as always, to Boone's Bourbon and our merch store at thegpa.fun. Go pick up some merch, drink your Boone's Bourbon, enjoy your weekend, be safe out there, choose some positivity, and brighten somebody's day. We'll see you next Friday.